Good evening, everyone. This is Rona Talusan. I'm an NC MC1 from Hillsboro, New Jersey. I am a full-time IT professional, married for 26 years, and we have three children. Life Vantage is my part-time and it's my passion. So welcome to our Eagle Team weekly training Zoom call. Today, we are going to do our panel discussion. This is one of my favorite training Zoom calls because I get to see other faces and hear other people's voices. I can see people from all over the world. Tonight, you're in for a big treat because we have a powerful set of six panelists who are joining us to inspire us with their stories. So let me introduce to you our panelists. Uh, we encourage our panelists to be raw and real. Please don't be afraid to share your testimonies because I'm sure they will inspire a lot of people. Uh, panelists, when I mention your name, uh, hold on, my phone is making a lot of noise. Please mention your rank and where you're from, okay? Let's start with Jill McNally. Hi, Jill. Hi, thank you so much for having me, first of all. Um, I am Jill McNally, I am a senior consultant three and I currently live in Mesa, Arizona. Welcome, welcome, Jill. Thank you. Hi, Gail. You're next, Gail Ann Wellendorf. Yes, hi, I am I'm from Minnesota. I am a Pro 2 with Life Vantage running for Pro 3, and I've nice. been with the company for five years. Welcome to our Zoom call, Gail. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Yes. And we have our dear Paulette. Hi, Paulette. Hi, my name is Paulette Schnipke. I'm also a senior consultant three and I am from Ohio. Welcome, Paulette. Nice to see you again. And we have our very own Beth. Um, it's my honor to be here. Thank you so much. I am Beth Busa. I'm from New Jersey and I'm a pro five. Is that an MC2? Welcome, Beth. Gigi Evangelista Donahue. Hi, good evening, everybody. My name is Gigi Donahue. I am from Florida, and I am a senior consultant three. I am now excited to hand you over to our smart and beautiful co-host who has been such a great addition to the Life Vantage family. You usually see her doing the business presentation and the new distributors training. Sylvia, say hello to our Life Vantage family and their guests. Hello, everybody, and thank you, Rana. I'm very honored to co-host with you. Rana has made some great strides in public speaking and doing presentations, don't you think? My name is Sylvia Morales. I'm an MC1 with Life Vantage. I am working with um, a mergers and acquisitions company during the day. And of course, Life Vantage is my life and my passion. And I do that when I can fit it in in the evenings and on the weekends. I live in Austin and I'm only 20 minutes away from Kai. So I have the privilege of having her as my neighbor. So that's one, one, one big privilege. So if you yeah. guys get her on Zoom, just be grateful because she's very, very busy. Now, the panelists, are you guys ready for their questions? Okay. And now each panelist is provided with two questions. Uh, you may answer them together when it's your turn. Uh, you have three to five minutes. And if you go over, that's okay. But you'd be surprised how much three to five minutes is. It's a long time. I've timed it and you can, you can say a lot. Here are the questions and I will repeat them for each person. Jill McNally will be the first one. All right, Jill, tell us your story and why you joined Life Vantage. And two, give us your personal testimony on how it has improved your life. Okay, um, my long story, because I'm 64 and a half years old now, I grew up in a very small town in Missouri, about an hour and a half from Kansas City. So there wasn't a lot of opportunity. So I was actually um, married and became a mom at 18 and had another child two years later and divorced by age 20. So um, I worked uh, for 27 years at a local uh, general contractor, commercial construction. And um, I did all the back office, payroll, HR, all that. Um, but I stayed there for 27 years, 
mainly um, so my kids could get the opportunity to go to college and um, move on to bigger things, which they did. They moved out of, to the different states and never came back to the small town. So, um, so yeah, I kind of did everything at my own pace, I guess. And um, what else? Moved to Kansas City, did that for another five years. So total of 32 years as a corporate employee, if you will. Always wanted something different. Um, been an empty nester for a long, long time. I'm single. And so the sense of purpose, I think, when I found the advantage for the second time, um, I didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know I was going to really love it like I do. Um, but it, it's just my journey has led me to this. And it's been just very incredible and powerful. And I love it. <laughs> so what can you tell us about your personal testimony and how it has improved your life? Okay. Um, with the well, problems, with the, you know, the company itself, your business. Okay. Um, so the reason I got in was for health um, because I find out um, I, and I moved to Colorado and saw it for the second time. And I say that because I um, had been in my hometown in Kansas city and around my parents and grandparents uh, my entire life. And they were having all these health problems and, you know, they were older than our older parents, you know, when they had children. And, and so I got to experience all that. I did have a little bit of medical background um, for a couple of years. I saw the ABC primetime, the entire version in 2005 when it was televised. Wow. And I was shocked. First time. <laughs> yes. First time. Wow. And um, I went, I went to a GNC store in Kansas city. They didn't have it on the shelves. It was a couple of days after the broadcast, they had sold out of it. They didn't know when they were going to get it. Um, and then a very much divine journey that I've had. I moved to Colorado in 2009, um, reestablished my life. I'd quit my careers and, um, got invited from a friend to take a look at a business opportunity. So that was my second chance. <laughs> um, and at that point, I guess I'll tell a bit about my health. Um, I was 51 years old, fast forward. I was already on seven prescription drugs, numerous over-the-counter drugs. I had all these chronic, I've got a whole list of chronic issues, um, digestive, all this, all this stuff that we've all heard about. Um, and so I went to the meeting in Denver and um, Bert DeBroy, which some of you know, he was a level five at the, at the time. And he was over here talking on the whiteboard and talking about the business and everything. I was, I saw the primetime startup on the screen and I grabbed the customer sheet. It was a paper document at that time. And I'm filling out the customer sheet. I didn't listen to any of it. I wanted that in my body. <laughs> and it, it triggered that memory of seeing all that. So um, that's where I started. Uh, my friend at the time called me back six days after I started the little yellow pill and asked me how I was doing. He had started the business too and, and started and he said he was feeling better, sleeping better and everything. And I said, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you called me. I said, I woke up and feel like a bag has been lifted off my head. Like that's how much better I felt already. So um, he did ask me to join the business. Um, at that time, I had committed to a four-year architecture school at CU Boulder. And I wasn't feeling like I was keeping up, doing very well, because I was 51 years old, and um, but I wanted a bachelor's from college. So I told him, okay, you know, um, the business pack was all pro tandem and it made financial sense to me to go ahead and purchase that because I felt like after a week I was going to take it for the rest of my life. So why not have extra, you know, and I have not been able to keep quiet about it since 2011. 
So 12 and a half years, <laughs> here I am. I've helped so many people and I'm still just really enjoying it more than anything I've enjoyed in my life. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that tells me you're a believer and that's because oh, you're first hand. First hand. Yes. ABC. I wish I could have seen it on TV, but you know what? Everybody has to show that ABC. There's other videos you can show, but yes. it's always ABC. I don't care how old that video is. That's powerful. And I'm glad that you mentioned that because other people want to use all these fancy new videos. And I go, honey, you can show that later. ABC should always be first. Well, I will say um, a lot of that entire version can be found on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You have to hunt, but there's about a 45 minute version on there. And there's so much more than we should. Yeah. We should watch that. Yes, 45 it, minutes I watch it a lot. <laughs> yeah. I will. I will look for that. Thank you, Jill. Well, thank you. thank you for sharing your story. I am amazed because at 20, you're raising two kids. I will. Kudos to you. Right. Thank you. And you moved from different places and you worked and well, I know how it is because I, I have a sister who's also a single mom and uh, it's a lot. So thank you. thank you for sharing that. And uh, I know you, you enjoy Life Vantage because you found a family here. Yes. So welcome to our Eagle family. Thank you. And we'll thank see you. you at the top as a pro 10 because you yes. have it in you. You have I'll it in I'll get there. You. You'll be there. <laughs> it, it's better. It, hey, slow is better than never at all. It took this long for me to get my degree. It took you that long to get your degree. Hey, that's okay. You'll get there eventually. All right. Let me go to the next candidate because we got a couple more to go here. Um, and we see Dr. Maria. Say hello first, Dr. Maria, before we go on to okay. uh, Gail. <laughs> I've been a pediatrician for 30 years here Hold in on, Florida. Dr. Maria, we'll, just, we'll just introduce you where where you're from yeah. and your rank. And yeah. then we'll, we'll get from back to you. From Cebu City, Philippines. But actually, all the way from Mindanao, Lano del Sur. And wow. um, grew up with the nuns and uh, because uh, we had to fly to a city for a um, different school so that we were in a Catholic school. So mostly uh, lived in the dormitory until high school was over and then went to college and became a doctor at Cebu Institute of Medicine and came to uh, the USA and trained in New Jersey, uh, Rutgers University. And now I'm in private practice in Florida. Wow. So I have a lot of patients who are actually uh, like disabled and a lot of them are disabled mentally, ADHD, autistic. So when I joined Life Vantage, I wanted to really help these patients. And I had a patient who was very slow and he walked wobbly all the time. And uh, he wore braces and was very, very... Uh, thin because his muscles never develop from being uh, having cerebral palsy so when i was uh, just having you know just learning about pro tandem i gave this family pro tandem and uh, told them because he was little just take a half a day and lo and behold within a month he was better in his walking he wasn't wobbly and after a few months, they were able to take off his brace and he was stronger and he developed uh, better with his language. So that amazed me. So I tried it on several other people, several other patients, and they really did well. So that really kept me on believing this uh, big belief with uh, the Life Vantage family. And I just I don't just believe with whatever is being told to me. So I research everything, and there's such a good good uh, research and a lot of advantages that uh, jo uh, that uh, goes with joining Life Vantage, not only for my patients but also for myself. Uh, I'm. 
up there in age. I just had my Medicare and I am not on any medication. I take the vitamins that are given to uh, by the Life Vantage and I have learned everything like just vitamin D. If you take vitamin D and you don't take vitamin K2 with it, that vitamin D and calcium will just go into your arteries and harden your arteries, which will make you even be worse off because you will have uh, more possibility of getting stroke or cardiac um, heart attack and all that, myocardial infarction. So the product that was uh, developed by Life Vantage has all the necessary things that is just perfect. So you won't, uh, you'll use this calcium and vitamin D to strengthen your bones and give you all the immunity that uh, vitamin D gives. So I'm really uh, happy and I'm happy to have uh, be part of this uh, very, uh, very good company and um, I would like to continue and use their products and learn everything. And uh, of course, we're learning by uh, this, uh, things like this, going to conferences, uh, joining the Zoom meetings. And thank you so much, Kai, for bringing me to Life Vantage. Wow. Dr. Maria, we are privileged just to have you on, on with our team. I mean, because we could use your knowledge, your medical knowledge. And on top of that, it just amazes me what you've done because you came from another country and came all the way to the U.S. <laughs> and here you became a doctor and decided to go against all the protocol that most doctors go through. And, uh, and, and, and you're here helping your patients. We need more doctors like you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Maria. It's nice to hear your story. <laughs> and uh, it's a wonder when you told me about, when you told about the, the child who couldn't uh, walk yes. straight. That's couldn't amazing, walk right? straight, the was miracle. wobbly. And yeah, not only that's that, amazing. totally uh, severely developmentally disabled. Couldn't yeah. talk, couldn't speak. and. Here he is. When I see him now, he's like a normal kid. I'm like, wow. I'm so proud of that. You see miracles firsthand. So that's really yes. amazing. All right. Um, let's go with Gail now. Um, Gail Ann Wendorf. Okay. Wellendorf. When, what, Wellendorf. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Um, let me um, repeat the two questions and then you can just um, give us your quick um, you know, answer. Tell us your story and why you joined Life Vantage and give us your personal testimony and how it has improved your life. Okay. Well, my story uh, starts with me having had knee replacement surgery. Wow. And I drive, I'm 30 miles from where I did physical therapy because that's where my nine to five job is. And I was uh, stopping and recoup recuperating from the medications I was taking at a friend's house. And she's the one that introduced me to Life Vantage. And she had just gotten her products when she was telling me about it. So we both started them on the same day. I was so impressed with what it did for me. Um, within a week, I was not having to take the pain meds before I went to physical therapy. And one of the evenings after that, um, Teresa was my friend and her upline Brittany called me and you know asked how I was feeling and things like that and before they could even ask I told them I want on board I want to be able to help other people the way that they have helped me um honestly I didn't even think about the business part of it because I was more concerned about being able to help people so for me it was such a miracle it was just so absolutely life-changing for me. Um, and, you know, as far as how it's changed my life, um, it's changed it for myself and my family. Um, I have chronic pain, and I was leaving the drugstore every month with a grocery bag full of prescriptions. 
now I only have three prescriptions that I leave the gro the pharmacy with, and I'm able to function daily. I have a five and a half year old granddaughter that I have taken care of on Fridays since she was two years old, and I've been able to keep up with her. It's been absolutely wonderful. Um, she is a light of our lives, and to be able to play with her every Friday has been so just amazing. Uh, my husband started at, at the same time as I did, and we actually started on all of the products. We didn't just start with the Pro Tandem Nerf 2. Uh, for him, he, um, unknown to me, he had decided to go off the product. And it was Thanksgiving Day. We were going down to our sons, and he was going to help uh, put in a new floor. Um, I was going to watch the baby, and he's loading the vehicle. And every time he'd come back in for tools, he would say, I don't know why, but he said, I hurt so bad today. He has uh, arthritic diseases. And he was just saying he hurt so bad, he didn't know why. Uh, we were getting ready to leave, and he looked at me and he said, would you mind driving? And I think all of us women know that a man doesn't do that, especially when they drive for a living. <laughs> and so I was really kind of surprised and trying to think of things in my mind as to why he was hurting so bad. And on the way down there, I looked over at him, and he literally had tears because he was hurting. And so I'm asking him all these questions. And at the time was when we used the strips um, of products. And I had mine sitting there and I looked at him and I said, did you take your products today? And that's when he said to me, oh, I decided to go off those about two weeks ago because they weren't doing any good. I handed him mine and I said, you start again now. He called me a week later and said, I will never go off them again mm -hmm. because within that week's, that week's time, they had already helped his pain and helped him to be able to move more. Um, for me, um, the, the story that sticks out the most in my mind is I had um, fallen on some ice and I um, needed shoulder surgery. And I go to the same orthopedic uh, doctor all the time and after my shoulder surgery it was my three-week checkup and I had been to physical therapy you know continually and he said can you raise your arm above your shoulder yet and I put my arm straight up in the air all the way up and I said you mean like this he looked at me and he said oh that's right you're on Nerf 2 Protandum aren't you <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, he, knows. <laughs> he knows, yes. He said, I can always tell which one of my patients is on it because they heal so much better and so much faster. He said, we no sense in you coming back until a year because it would just be a social visit at this point. Wow. So I, yeah, so it's helped me recuperate very quickly from per, some pretty major surgeries. Um, the other um, way it has changed my life is I got a puppy from my sister-in-law, a miniature schnauzer, and this this is him, quite sleepy. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, this is Harley. Um, we knew there was something wrong with him when I got him from her, but we didn't know what. I work for a veterinarian. Um, I've been there for 20 years, and so she did some different tests, and we discovered that um, he had a, um, a partial cleft of his soft palate. And he, um, it, it just wasn't right. And so when he was going to be fixed, he was going to repair it. So at six months of age, he, she came up to me and she said that um, we were able to fix him, but I was not able to... Um, repair the cleft of the soft palate. I was just crushed. And I looked at her and I said, so what happened or what's wrong? She showed me pictures. It had repaired itself. The day I brought him home at eight weeks of age, I started him on a quarter of a pet tandem. And as he got bigger, I increased it to a half, which he still takes today, two years later. But it had 
helped him to repair himself. Wow. I, I just, that was such a miracle for us because he has become a service dog for me. Mm. And I don't know, life would just be very, um, just would not be the same without him. So it's just all been, it's been wonderful. Wow. Wow. That amazes me. You've had a wonderful one story after another from you to your husband, to your dog. Yep. I mean, this says a lot. And when it, when it happens to you and your family, that's when you, your belief grows even stronger. Some people, because they don't it feel does. it, like you said, oh, it's not working for me. I don't want to take it anymore. They do not realize that it takes time. They need to stay on it because it will get better the longer they're on it. But when they get off, they will feel it. That's yeah, true. And that's what I tell people when they ask me, how do, I, how do I know it's working? The only way you're going to really know it's working is if you're not taking it. And <laughs> majority of my customers don't want to take that risk. They don't want to go off of it, which is wonderful. Fantastic. That's one, that's a wonderful story, Gail. Yes. Actually, we have a Thank distributor you. who who were, was amazed by his patient who was taking Protandin because suddenly there was no pain. You know, when you're a yeah. PD, uh, therapy patient, usually you cannot move very well. There's always pain, right? But uh, because of our products, it really helps you heal faster, right? Yeah, that's why thank athletes, you. That's why athletes love taking the product for the same thing for quick recovery. So that, this is a perfect example. So wonderful. Thank you, Gail. Now let's thank go with you. our next panelist here. Okay, Paulette Schnipke. I'm going to ask the questions again. Tell us your story and why you joined Life Vantage, and give us your personal testimony on how it has improved your life. Take it away. Okay. Um, so I also live in a rural small town only. I'm in Ohio, a population of 5,000. Wow. We, we are surrounded by farmland. Mm -hmm. um, I've been married for 54 years. We have three adult children and eight grandchildren. Um, I'm a former foods and nutrition teacher and high school guidance counselor. And I actually still work a couple days as an elementary counselor night right now. Um, my husband and I also owned and operated a popular barbecue restaurant for 45 years. So I was always the busy kind of person, like many people, many women especially, who are burning the candle at both ends. You can mostly relate with me, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So um, unfortunately, in 2010 and 11, we had a very stressful year with a lot of uh, not good events. Uh, one, we had two restaurants at th that time, and one of our restaurants was credit card hacked for over a quarter of a million dollars of our guests' bank accounts. Um, we ended up having to work with FBI, Secret Service, all kinds of stuff, and uh, we ended up having to close that restaurant. And during that same time period, both our moms passed away. So the problem was that I was handling all that. I was taking care of it because my husband was trying to save our other restaurant. So in 2012, my body said, okay, you push too hard, too much. You're not taking care of yourself. So it just stopped. Totally shut down. I just was tired and sick all the time. So I picked up every virus that came along and including pneumonia. So my doctors ended up giving me steroids and antibiotics every time, but that's even makes it worse. You know, if you're having series, probably 10 to 15 steroids and uh, antibiotics during 2012. So for Christmas, my husband actually had to do all the Christmas shopping because I was not able to do it. And I'm a big Christmas girl. So 2013 didn't start off any better. I picked up another virus in January and I just started to look like a skeleton in the mirror. And then February happened. And uh, I said to my husband, you need to take me to the doctor right now. So he's like, uh, do you know you didn't finish curling your hair? <laughs> like, I can't, you need to take me right now. So when he got me there, they rushed me to the emergency room 
and all my organs were shutting down. So you get like this purple spots all over you when that happens. And uh, so they, luckily we were attached to an emergency room and then an ambulance to the hospital. So after four or five days in the hospital, when I came home later, I was worse than I was, of course, before, because if your organs start shutting down, they say you cannot come back. If you look at anything about organs shutting down all over your body, that you're not going to come back. So our daughter, Renee, and her Bible study group had been praying for me. So someone in the group gave her Proteando. And she brought me this blue bottle. And I wasn't very nice about it because I was like, okay, this could kill me. I don't even know what it is. That's what I was thinking. So finally, I agreed to take this little yellow pill. And every day she stopped and checked on me and uh, made sure I was taking it. And then about three weeks in, I started to wake up. And then within a couple months, I was like getting on the road to recovery. And about the same time, my husband uh, walked into our bedroom where I was folding laundry because our laundry room is right next door. And he looked at me and he said, hey, uh, don't you think I should be taking that stuff in that blue? <laughs> so now he's been taking it all this time. So what made me join Life Vantage? Our son, that same year, was 39. And was diagnosed with stage four liver cancer. Wow. And he had had stage three cancer, colon cancer at 36. And his doctors thought he was fine, but it metastasized from the colon to his liver. So it was very scary. So here comes my daughter. We got to give this pill to Ryan. And I'm like, are you insane? What is wrong with you? This has stage four liver cancer. And when she said, mom, have you been looking at the science? And I'm like, no. <laughs> she said, you're the one with the science degree. Why aren't you looking at it? So I'm like, well, where did this come from? Who are these people who make this? So she's like, uh, okay, there's a conference for distributors in two weeks in Denver. So I'm like, she wouldn't stop. She just kept talking about it. So I'm like, okay, your dad and I, same way. It's all when you joined, it was all pro tandem. We knew we were going to take it. So I bought the whatever, 800, I think it was $850 and joined the company. So that's how I joined. And we went to the conference. So we went to the conference and I knew everything I needed to know. Um, my son, Ryan, totally cancer free right wow. now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, he took the pretend and we came back and uh, he said, we showed him the science and he said, well, this could help me. It can't hurt me. And the doctors don't know what in the hell they're doing. So um, he took the pretend through his chemo treatments for nine months and he is 100% okay. He does not have to take any chemo drugs and nothing. Like they tell people now, if you have stage four, any kind of cancer, you're going to take chemo drugs the rest of your life. He does not do that. Um, so he lives a full life. He's functioning fine. He uh, does everything for everybody. I mean, he can fix anything. He works full time. He's got two uh, very nice sons. So there's why I'm still at life at age. My God, Paulette. Wow, Paulette. Your story is amazing. Wow. And you know what? You, you had two great things, the power of prayer and NRF2. You have gone through a lot of struggles in your life, Paulette. That's why you're a strong woman, Paulette. Oh, thank you. But thank I, God I, for life vantage. It I saved you. <laughs> and we love having you here, and I'm glad you're here. God can have you put you here to help others, and that's what we got to do. And your story is so powerful. It will help others. It will inspire others. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so Thank much, you, Paulette. Paulette. Thank okay. you for that. Oh, my All God. All right, Rona. Okay. I'm going to hand it over to you so you can handle the rest of the panels. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me repeat the questions for the rest. Uh, tell us your story and why you joined Life Vantage, And give us your personal testimony on how it has improved your life. Let me start with 
our own Beth Busa. Hi, Beth. Hi, Rona. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Again, I am Beth Busa from New Jersey. I am a happy wife and blessed, a blessed mother to uh, two beautiful children, Ethan and Sydney. I was an entrepreneur before when I was back in the Philippines. Um, I used to have my advertising business and I was also a TV producer. But in 1998, when I got married, I gave everything up and opted to, to come here, um, be a good wife. Well, I married the right man, I should say. So I, I gave up good things for better things, right? So yeah. that's what I believe. God led me here. So it was 180 degrees life change for me. You know, I set aside what most would say the American dream. Most people come to the U.S. for the American dream. But for me, the American dream was building a family. I was already 32 at the time. So it was kind of hard at first because, you know, um, I felt different, you know, even with my friends because they were all, I felt um, a little bit little compared to them because they were all working and I was a, a stay-at-home mom. All was good to me till one day I, um, I found out that I had breast cancer. I went, Paulette, I thought. <laughs> I um, I went through a series of surgeries, chemotherapy. Yes, I lost my hair. I went through radiation. I used to take my kids for 30 days. I took my two kids with me every single day to radiation. They remember that time. And uh, more surgeries till last year. Cancer was a curse to me because it was genetic. I could pass it on to my kids, my children. It was a curse to me because I can't be that mom that I wanted to be, the wife that I wanted to be. But also for me, it was a blessing because it, I was introduced to Life Vantage. You know, I didn't want to be a burden to my family. That's the last thing that I wanted to do. Um, my husband's cousin, Gina, I will forever be thankful to her. So for people who introduce life vantage to you guys you don't you know you owe them they don't owe you you owe them it's a blessing you know she shared the abc with me and my friends you know i was all in because i wanted something better i wanted to feel the self that i had before i wanted to be me again i wanted to function as a mom again as a wife you know the prescription drugs that was given to me it made me feel like a 90 year old woman you know i couldn't even move i was so tired i didn't have energy i couldn't even pick up my kids from the bus stop so i took the product you know i was a mom of a seven year old and a nine year old they always they were so scared that they were going to lose me. So, you know, I get up just to make, be able to assure them that mom is okay. You know, we survive through the grace of God, through the love and kindness of the people around me, my friends, my neighbors. We didn't have family here. But, you know, I saw the beauty. You should say you know, in the ashes, right? That, 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 that phrase, you see beauty in ashes. I saw the beauty in spite of what I was going through because I saw how good people was. God was really there. I felt him. He was there. He carried me all throughout this, this journey, you know. And uh, it was so hard because my, my kids had to leave from house to house of my friends because I had to go through surgeries and chemo. That really hit me because I was no longer being that mom. So when I saw the ABC, I said, I got to take it. I took Pro Tandem 2 daily. And two weeks after, oh my God, I felt like it was a miracle. You know, I picked up my kids from the bus stop. People were wondering what I was doing there. I attended their games. I was so happy. I know I found what I was looking for. 
I told my oncologist, I want to take this. No more prescription drugs. I want to be me again. So er she said, you have to see me every three months. You know, after a year, she goes, you have to see me every six months. So I go, praise the Lord, something's happening here, right? And then after another year, she said, you have to see me yearly. And five years later, she moved me to the survivor's program. Oh my God, I couldn't think enough. The people that she shared it, this with me and the people that I met in Life Vantage. Life Vantage is only for me. It's not really a company, but it's, it's a group of people with miracle stories, you know. Rotandam is a blessing to me and my family. I am alive because I said yes. I am passionate because I've seen miracles after miracles happening. My mom at 86 had a stroke. She was bedridden for four months. And now I will be going home to the Philippines because she will be celebrating her 95th birthday. Wow. So people, you know, friends with end-stage dialysis, people with cancer, we're not saying they're going to be healed, but the quality of their life has greatly changed. And that's more than enough for us, right? So because they all said yes, they didn't say yes to me. They said yes because they want, they found hope. They found something there, right? right. Because of Life Vantage, I got the dream again. I get to help people. I got a second chance on my life, and this second chance, I'm living my purpose now. You know, with Life Vantage, it's not about me. It's not about us. It's about others. It's about helping people, right? And with Life Vantage, of course, it's a business. I'm happy because with Life Vantage, I get to see my mom twice a year. You know, I, I'm able to support that, my flights and everything. And I owe that all to Life Vantage. Back to you, Sylvia and Rana. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Beth. I know Beth's story <laughs> deeply because oh. I've, I've seen her struggle. I've seen her depression when it was after the chemo and after the radiation, all the treatments. I've seen how strong she is. Now she's a superwoman. You will never see any trace of that cancer in her. She's, uh, even my mom is saying, whenever she's sharing pro tandem, look at Beth. You can never tell that she had cancer before because she's a superwoman now still a superwoman so thank you beth for inspiring us and up to now she's sharing her blessings she has you should mention that she has a, a ministry in the philippines she's uh sharing all her blessings giving free products to those who are terminally ill so we thank you we cannot thank you enough beth for all that you do for yeah, Rona, for I other wouldn't, people thank you for that but i wouldn't take that credit i i Take, um, I give that credit to my friend who is really supporting the, uh, the um, our group uh, project blessings. So, Aww. thank you, Rana. Honey, we but are so you. grateful, and we're we love to ha we love having you here. You look wonderful. You, we would have never known if no one knew, knew you that you had to go through all that. But I know God put you here to help others. And that's what we need to do. We need to serve and help others. And your belief has gotten so big that this is the reason why we're all going to end up, you know, stay on this forever. And we're going to be out there helping. And the only way people are going to get belief is listening to these types of stories and going to the events because you'll hear even more stories. So Beth, thank you. Thank you for your, for your, for your story. And we're glad that you're here with us. Okay, go ahead, um, Rana. Now to our last panelist, Gigi. Tell us your story and why you joined Life Vantage. Also, if you can give us your personal testimony on how it has improved your life. Hello again, everybody. <clears throat> My journey to LV or Life Vantage is um, really, um, it's an accident, I would say, but it's a good accident. Um, I, I just need to give you a background how for me, like, like Jill and Gail and Paulette, it's health. I like Dr. Doherty. I'm actually uh, in healthcare as well. I'm a registered nurse. I've been an RN for over 30 years. Um, I also 
went uh, to a an old girl Catholic school, and I know Beth from that school since grammar school. We graduated in high school together. I dreamed of not coming to America, like a lot of Filipinos, I would say. I wanted to own my own small business. I, my major was my, uh, is in business administration. I went to Marinol College, which now they call it, I believe, Miriam College. Unfortunately, I have a very tough mother. Um, she was very tough from the time, I believe, uh, as, as far as I can remember it. Uh, she was not easy with me. Um, I was the oldest. And through the years, because of that, I developed anxiety as a child. And of course, I didn't understand that at the time because she was very adamant to the point that she will not speak to me. I went into nursing school. I worked, um, I actually initially worked at the Philippine General Hospital for some Filipinos there that know that, um, that know it. It is the 13th unit of the University of the Philippines. I only worked for about a year. I got very, very sick. Philippine General Hospital caters to the poorest of the poor. It has the level one trauma center uh, in the heart of Manila. My father forced me to resign because I had chronic bronchitis. I was very skinny. I was about 85 pounds at the time. So my mother really wanted to leave the, the Philippines and wants all of us to go to the United States. I didn't want to go. I have lots of classmates, friends that I work with at Philippine General Hospital who were really encouraging me. Let's go. We were being recruited. I was being recruited in college. It was during the AIDS crisis and they needed nurses in the United States, which made it easy for me to come here. I finally decided to go uh, with encouragement. I came to New York City again during the AIDS crisis, uh, extremely understaffed. I work in a level one trauma center in New York City and very stressful. But um, of course, I was young. This is the time when you just adapt to anything. I was uh, actually, I grew up very independent. I don't complain. I just do what I need to do. And that's because my mother was very, very, very um, hard on me. And uh, I would not tell her if I was very sick. I will not tell her if I'm burning with fever. If I was in pain, I will not tell her. I'll go to school. It doesn't matter how I felt. So, you know, in, in, in the years, I, it was not my plan to be in a leadership position. But of course, with that, being a nurse and getting into a leadership position, there comes stress. Because of that, I developed not just anxiety, I had insomnia, and Dr. Doherty can attest to this, it will lead you to depression. And with that, I developed other diseases. Um, I had what we call um, chronic pain. I developed migraine, which those diagnoses I didn't even accept. Uh, these doctors I knew that diagnosed me. I developed hypertension at age 40. I had hyperlipidemia before I got to life vantage. Uh, by the way, I am a single mother. Um, I was only married once, but I have two children. My son uh, has a different father. My ex-husband was very supportive. It was a struggle um, filing for divorce because I was born and raised Catholic, but I was extremely unhappy and went into a very, very deep depression. So I decided to move on and um, being a single mother is also difficult. My, my son's father is an alcoholic and uh, ultimately uh, he uh, developed a a liver disease, which is not going to get any better. I don't ask for child support. So it's just me and my son. I am very successful and very proud to say that my career has really gone through unexpectedly that I didn't know that I was going to be there. However, I gave up so much as well. It took a toll on my health, which affected my children, especially in the later years, my son, when I had the chronic pain, I, uh, would rock sometimes in pain. I'll be like this in the office. In the elevator, I'm doing this. And I don't even realize I'm doing it. I could hardly get out of bed. Anything that touches me hurts. 
I recall just laying down all the time during the weekend. I do have to get up because I have to support my son. Otherwise, we're not going to have, we're not going to eat. I won't be able to pay bills. I won't be able to pay his school. And uh, anyways, the one thing I recall during COVID, uh, it was lockdown. Um, my son asked me, mom, do you think you're going to be okay tomorrow? I said, what's the matter? And I was in the couch. And he said, can we go to the movies? And I said, um, can we see how mommy feels first? And that went on every week. I will say, I'm so sorry, but mommy can't get up because mommy hurts so much. Now, it just happened in 2020. There, my classmates, all of us that came to um, St. Mary's, we had a group, there was a group text. And one of my classmates, she's in Chicago, our classmate, Beth and I, she said, uh, gee, we have a group text, you know, all our friends here in the States, California, Chicago, me, and, and uh, I moved here to Florida, and then Beth is in New Jersey. So we got connected, and then Beth reached out to me at the time, and she said, how are you? I can't even remember how it was, and she thought I was being a snob because I said, oh, you know, uh, I think I have time to talk on Saturday. But it wasn't because I was snobbing her. It's because I work almost seven days a week. I start from four in the morning and sometimes I work until midnight, even if I'm in pain. And in fact, it's uh, weird because I bought all kinds of life insurance policy because I didn't know if I was going to live long enough for my son. And I wanted to make sure that I can support his education. So there we go. We just started talking. Beth told me, about what happened to her, to her health. And my last job, when I left New York City, I was an IV nurse. I was trained to give chemotherapy. I actually trained at Sloan Catering Memorial Hospital at, uh, on the east side of Manhattan. And as she told me what happened to her, I became emotional trying not to tell her because I can picture her because I have taken care of patients like her. and. I haven't spoken to her in 38 years. And we're talking about her. And all I remember was this young teenager, when we graduated, Beth was always so bubbly. You never see her, she's so down to earth. You never see her angry. It's just like, we're always laughing. That's all I remember from her. She gives hugs all the time. She likes to give kisses, very sweet. And then I told her my story. At the time, I was taking, uh, let's see, I actually wrote it down because I already forgot it. I was taking 11 prescription medications and two over-the-counter medications. And because of that, the side effects of the drugs were overlapping. I started losing my memory from it. Um, the one that I recall very clearly, there were multiple incidents. People that I talked to in the morning, I forgot I spoke to them. Um, or going through a red light, and I didn't realize I just went through a red light. Uh, I was on my way home, the same routine that I always do every day. After work, I go straight to the parking parking garage. I get my car, the same route, every single day to pick up my son from school. All my kids, because I'm a single mom, both my kids live in before and after care. I was never a stay-at-home mom. I always worked. I worked long hours all the time. So I was make sure that I get there on time to him. And when I was about to turn, I know I was going to turn soon. I cannot remember what street I'm supposed to turn to get to his school. So I, the first gas station I found, I stopped there. And to this day, I still try to remember which gas station that is. And that's when I realized, oh, my God, the side effects of the drugs hitting me. So I called my doctor and I said, I will have to stop these two drugs because the combination of them, I'm losing my memory. If I lose my memory, I'm not going to be able to work and I'm not going to be able to feed my kid. So um, I was popping Advil, 800 milligrams. That's my breakfast. I have coffee because I wake up with pain. Um, I will drink coffee and 800 milligrams of Advil. Now, I know the side effects of Advil, of course, being, being in healthcare. 
and then that will last me until about 11. Now you have to space it every six to eight hours depending on the dosage. There's like a Dr. Doherty knows that of course. I will try to push it until two o'clock, but I cannot push it anymore. I will start, I cannot focus at work because of the pain. I can't think and I use my brain. I read medical records. I need to understand what's going on to, on a patient. I can't concentrate. And that's when Beth said to me, gee, I want to introduce you something. She did not tell me right away what she, what was it about? She didn't tell me that she was taking it when she talked about her condition when she had cancer. She slowly introduced that to me. And then she invited Kai. And that's when I showed them the container of my medication. So I became a distributor first as a customer because I thought, and I was very skeptical being in healthcare. She told me, don't Google anything, G, but I did. <laughs> I Googled it. And yeah, it was bad, but it was also good because that's when I found out that there are products being sold extremely, I mean, very identical to it, but it's actually the contents are not the same as Life Vantage have. It's not the same. So it was true what Beth told me. Anyways, long story short, I became a distributor because I thought I can share this to my dad. I can share this to my sister. My sister retired young because of multiple medical problems as well. I can share this to friends. I tried not the yellow pill. I started with Trisynergizer because it existed already at the time. After about a month of taking it, I went to my doctor and asked for complete metabolic panel, including inflammatory markers. If it's really true, I'm getting better. And I was monitoring my blood pressure the whole time I was started taking it. The first medication that I discontinued was my blood pressure medication, and I was taking two at the time. And then a follow-up after that. Six months later, I slowly, little by little, was removing all those medications, and now I'm only down to two medications for that 11 prescription drugs and those two over-the-counter drugs. It changed my life because now I can get up, my son and I can argue, we can play, we can chase each other, and if he wants to go somewhere, I go with her. And again, if I have not met my best friend again after 38 years, I wouldn't be here. And Kai has been extremely supportive of me. And I also earned so many good friends here right now that I'm looking at. It became a family to me as well. Oh, we love you. Oh my God, Gigi. Oh my God. Oh, you made me oh cry God. so much. <laughs> The way oh, you told Gigi. your story, I could imagine you hurting and you couldn't take your son somewhere. Mm -hmm. I you felt it beautiful. because yeah, I felt it because your Teddy and my Mark are almost the same age. So I know, I know how hard it would be if you couldn't take them anywhere they wanted to go. So oh my God. Thank you, Beth, for sharing with Gigi, because I gained a friend through you. <laughs> and uh Everybody here who has met Gigi knows how wonderful she is, how how good it is that you are in our Life Vantage family. So thank you for sharing your story. I'm sure it has touched everyone's hearts yeah. here today. We have a family here, you guys, and we can see each other in person if you come to the conventions, please. <laughs> Come to conventions. That way we can hug each other. We can kiss each other and talk about all kinds of good things instead of all the terrible things we've been through. We want to hear success <laughs> stories. And we want to see you guys so up on stage. Okay? Wow. This is wonderful. We had some oh wonderful God. panelists who gave us their insights. And I hope you have been inspired by these speakers. Um, we, we love having these types of sessions. This is a good way of getting to know each other better. And if you do not have a story to relate to other people or to your guests or to your new um, prospects or customers, borrow some of these stories. Use someone else's story because they may have the uh, same thing maybe that one of our friends have. 
and then this way they can relate to them. So always remember, facts tell, but stories sell. Okay, back to right. you, Rana. I hope all of you have gotten something from each of the panelists here tonight. I know you did, because <laughs> I sure did. And uh, take note of how you will be able to answer these kinds of questions, because it will be your turn next time to share your story. And please don't forget to register for tomorrow's Activate virtual event for only $25. You can do that in your back office. There's still time. And as Sylvia mentioned, don't forget the global convention on October 5 to 7. We want to see you there in person, okay? So yeah. we went a little over time, but it was so worth it. Thank you so much, Jill. Thank you so much, Gail, Paulette, Dr. Maria, Beth, and Gigi. We love you, and we are so happy to meet you, and hopefully we can meet you in person We'll see you again next Friday in the U.S., Saturday in the Philippines for our next Zoom training. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Thank you, Sylvia. Right. Good night, everyone. You, it was great working with you. Good night, and I love all you families.